Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail community news, through hiker update, and trail information. Well, happy 4th of July weekend. Uh, just don't forget what this holiday is all about, and that's all about that the freedoms that we enjoy here, that our ancestors came and fought for, and they came here to this country and with nothing and started out all over. So thanks a lot for that, and just keep that in mind, and uh, maybe say a little bit of thanks as you're walking out there on the trail this weekend. But let's go ahead and talk about who's out there walking on the trail. So we got a uh, talking head. He's going to be in Gorham uh, tomorrow, the next day, and he's on his Sobo trip somewhere around 300 miles of what he's got in. Uh, Rick and Sherry, also known as Tracker and Julio, they are heading north, and they'll be somewhere around Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Uh, they say their feet hurt all the time, but they think that's normal. So my feet hurt all the time. I've got plantar fasciitis, but you folks out there that maybe don't necessarily have plantar fasciitis, do your feet hurt all the time out there on the trail? And does it change with the big miles that you do? I'd be interested. I'm sure Tracker and Julio would be interested too, so leave a comment down below. Uh, Airbag is possibly dealing with some plantar fasciitis and has also been feeling fatigue. So feeling fatigue, you know, those things can be one, the miles that you're putting in, uh, being dehydrated, eating the junk food that we eat on trail when we're out there. After a while, you deplete your body of the minerals and everything that you had when you first started. And so possibly that could be what it is. Uh, the airbag got off trail in Lexington to recover and is going to be looking to get back on and probably flipping up north. Um, one thing is, you know, because of all the hiker food that we eat, we don't get a lot of our greens, a lot of our vegetables. So leave a comment down below if you have some secret to getting those greens and those vegetables that we need uh, when we're out there on the trail, particularly when folks are doing long distance out there. Spotters around Lut Rutland and still having a great time. Super excited to be getting ready to start the Whites. Uh, she did indicate, uh, you'll recall a couple weeks ago in her videos, she said she's going to be slowing down. That happened, happened uh, up until this point, but now she says that her body's telling her to slow down. So uh, before it was her mind because she's wanting to enjoy it, now her body's kicked in. So she says she's going to be slowing down. We'll still see if she can do that because she is always wide open. Bricks and Gazelle, they are in Maine, and they have passed Old Speck and Bald Plate. Miss App and Amethyst, they are Sobo, and they are through the saddlebacks. They said bugs are getting worse, but they are manageable, and if you use the Picardian lotion, that seems to help out and work pretty well. Uh, the black flies, they say, are the worst on, at elevation on top of the mountains, uh, and they also say that the lakes and ponds have also been the most reliable water sources on there. So some of those that are on uh, Far Out app uh, are uh, not necessarily reliable. Lazarus P. summited Mount Greylock today and will be in Bennington, Vermont tomorrow. And he says that there are lots of trail magic in Massachusetts. Matter of fact, while he was going through there, he pretty much had it about every day. Georgia is around the Shanties. Supersport and Horseshoe, they are north of Damascus and around the Grayson Highlands or the Atkins areas. They feel like they're the last ones coming through, although my last update from Lolly and Pop was that they were behind them. Turtlehead has entered the White uh, Mountains. Matt Johnson, he has passed the 900-mile mark. Holy Roller and Red Panda, they are somewhere around Hamburg, and they made a really cool trail sign or trail mile point that you see a lot of people make, but this is pretty neat here, and it shows the 1,000 miles left to Katahdin, or if you're Sobo, it'll show you that you're a 1,000 miles into your journey from Katahdin, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Hillbilly and Moonshine, they have made it to the Southern Presidentials, and a couple other folks that have made it to the Southern Pres Presidentials are High Road, Slasher, Super, Shaggy, Trapdoor, Mush, Jason, S Sonia, Last Minute, Why Not, and KT. Straps T, Boston, and Chatterbox, they are enjoying the whites and should be over Mount Washington by the first of the week. Boston Little Chap, they are near Warwick, and they plan on going to the drive through there that's just a couple miles down the road when you first cross over into New York, and you get to watch a movie for free and camp there for free, and they'll even give you a radio or like a boom box that you can listen to the audio 
on uh, that's coming through the, uh, the the movies there, and I think they got like three screens. You get your choice of what uh, to watch. They did indicate that I jinxed them from last week that the bugs had been bad in the past few days. Tennessee's in New Jersey, and finally out of Roxylvania, he says he is loving the trail and all the people that he's been meeting out there. Papa Bear, he has made it to Delaware Water Gap and says the Pennsylvania Knife Edge and the climb out of Palmerton was really fun. Those were two of his favorite technical sections. Mushroom and Pink Hot Dog, they're about to be in Vermont. Gaia has crossed into Massachusetts. Professor K, he is in Vermont. Backtrack, he has made it to Stratton on his Sobo. By the looks of his picks, the shelters seem to be really, really full around there. Dandelion is up and over Bear Mountain in New York and hit 1,400 miles and says that it is hot and dry out here. Come Along has checked in and is somewhere around Pine Grove and Come Along thinks he's going to beat me to Vermud. I'll be doing about 700 knots in about uh, 10 days when I go to hit Vermud. So he's in Pine Grove now. He's doing about uh, maybe he might be doing three and a half miles an hour, but I don't think he's going to beat me. Uh, and then Disco is in New Jersey. So a couple folks that we've got off the trail or maybe have switched up their hikes to they're no longer through hiking, they've turned it into a lash or going to come back and do a section hike. And that's Gumby. He's off at Smith Road north of uh, Palmerton due to some knee issues. Cool Breeze, he's a flip-flopper. He made the decision to drop south from New York to Harper's Ferry because he prefers the south over the north, always kind of walk wanted to hike down here of course i'm telling you right now i'm in the south it is a whole it's got to be hotter down here than it is up north but it sounds like he is in it his through hike because he said he would come back and finish the northern sections not as a through hiker so that means he is done with his through hike but he's still section hiking or lashing so he's still out there on trail florida flats is off trail due to some issues uh that she still had a went through a bout with covid and so uh, she just has not fully recovered with that. And so she has gotten back off trail to do a little bit of recovering with that. I can tell you, and it's been a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a month or more since she had COVID, but I can tell you that it is the long haul COVID is real. Somebody told me that the other day. Uh, I have COVID, I had COVID as you know, a couple of weeks back and uh, I'm still uh, hacking up phlegm. Uh, don't have the brain fog or any worse than it was before COVID. Uh, that I had before, uh, no headaches or really uh, any other symptoms other than a cough occasionally, uh, particularly at night. Um, but the, the other night I had an episode where I couldn't get my breath and it felt like my chest was paralyzed and somebody at work told me that that was a symptom of long haul COVID. So that is a real thing. And then uh, Gary Fagan, he is off due to some knee issues. He had a reconstructed kneecap and that is kind of kicked back in and so he has gotten off the trail. So some summits that we had over this past uh, week since our last update, Mama San, she completed her 2021 slash 22 uh, flip-flop and she completed it down at uh, uh, Springer Mountain, Georgia and down at the Southern Terminus. And so congratulations to her, that was on June 26th. And then on uh, July uh, 2nd, Outback has finished his AT section of the ECT. So he summited at Katahdin and summited uh, also uh, along with some folks that were in his tramley, but he's the only one that's doing the ECT. Uh, the ECT, of course, is the Eastern Continental Trail that starts in Key West. And I'm pretty sure he started on December 1st down there. And of course it goes up through uh, the Florida Trail and then the Pinhoti Trail, uh, the Benton Mackay Trail, and eventually hits the Appalachian Trail and follows it all the way up Katahdin and then it becomes the International Appalachian Trail. So he's got about 1,600 more miles left uh, to get up there to Belle Isle, Newfoundland. So uh, congratulations to him on finishing the, AC, uh, the ATC and all those other trails. And look, and we're gonna keep updating him as long as he sends us updates in. Typically don't update past uh, the uh, the northern terminus up there at Katahdin, but in his case, he has been really good about updating us and been really neat following him along, so we'll continue to update him. So some little bit of trail news out there. Whispers, who's our northern correspondent and spends a lot of time hiking up there in the whites, he went to the Lake of the Clouds hut and found out from the crew up there uh, that directly that they will be keeping with just four work for stays per night 
and two at the other huts. He did say, of course, the Lake of the Clouds has the hiker dungeon, they call it, which is kind of a basement area underneath. It is not really a nice looking place, uh, not any amenities. It's just um, a roof over your head, basically, and probably can get a little muggy and a little chilly up there as well. Uh, but in any case, they, it is, does keep you out of the wind, keeps you out of the cold when it's cold, keeps you out of the rain, and so they are allowing that place to fill up um, there at the Lake of the Clouds. They also indicated that when there's big storms coming through that they will allow more hikers stay there for work for stay. Uh, don't know how many and where they cut that off and where they start charging people to stay there during the storms. Probably during a really bad storm just due to hiker safety and, and how the AMC is, they would let you stay there anyway. And then I just wanted to remind everybody that the heat index is up really high. Some places I've seen it uh, 104 and higher. So the heat index, of course, is what it feels like uh, with temperatures being in the high 90s to the triple digits and then humidity, uh, just uh, all those things come together to make the heat index really high. So dehydration, most hikers hike dehydrated. Be careful out there during these extreme temperatures. If you're with a tramway and hiking with other people, look out for other one another. You know, the heat exhaustion, not only dehydration, but heat exhaustion uh, and heat injuries uh, can kill you just as fast as hypothermia or anything else. So if your tramley is not sweating, if their skin is really, really pale or really, really red, without a, uh, particularly without associated sweat, uh, they're not sounding right, slurring their speech, uh, and just there are other hiker uh, heat exhaustion symptoms out there. Become familiar with those. Here's a graphic. Hopefully that will help you out. Maybe do a, uh, a uh, screenshot of this. Look out for another one another. Look out for yourself. Stay hydrated. And above all, you need to be out there filtering your water because you're going to get thirsty. You're going to be drinking and you don't need a, a bad case of uh, you know, some giardia or something like that that's going to cause you to get dehydrated in it even more. Folks, that's all I got this week. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out here.